Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. If you are excited as I am, it's because you know that in iOS 14.5 and iPadOS 14.5, you can change your default music player on iPhone and iPad. And that includes to many other options like Pandora, uh, TuneIn, uh, you can even use like dark noise uh, if you're using it for white noise in the background. Uh, but it also includes Spotify. That's right, with iOS 14.5 and iPadOS 14.5, you can now set Spotify to your default music player. So when you say, play some music to Apple's digital assistant, it's gonna to default to Spotify rather than to Apple Music. Now, I'll admit, I am absolutely an Apple Music subscriber and I prefer that over Spotify, but that's just me. I know there are a lot of you out there that are using Pandora and Spotify and many other alternatives to Apple Music. And that is why we are talking about it in this video. We're gonna show you how to set your default music player to Spotify. Now, before you can do this, there is that one thing that I kind of already mentioned. You need iOS 14.5 or iPadOS 14.5. To get that, you need to be a part of Apple's beta program, whether the public beta or the developer beta. It's easy to sign up for either of them. Developer beta is obviously for devs and there's a fee associated with it. The public beta program is free to sign up for and boom, you get to try these software updates out early before the release to everyone else. So make sure you've got that on either of your device. Or if you're watching this video in a month or two from when I created it, congratulations, iOS 14.5 is already out. But assuming you have 14.5 on your device, this is how you change that default music player. And it's really easy. Just ask Apple's assistant to play some music. So you can use the key phrase, just, hey, Apple assistant, or you can hold down the button on the side. I'm just gonna hold down the side button for this video so I don't have to say those words all the time and freak out any of your devices. But all you have to do is invoke Siri and then just ask Siri to play some music. And when you do that, after updating to 14.5, you're gonna see a new list of options. The Apple Podcast app, Spotify, Pandora, whatever it is that you have installed on your device. It's really that easy. It's pretty awesome. Now, by the time 14.5 comes out, there may be some more enhancements to this, including ways to change it in the settings or by asking Siri to specifically change your default music player. But right now, it just shows up that first time that you go to play music. Now, for me, it didn't actually show up the first time. It just kept defaulting to Apple Music. It's still a little buggy being, you know, beta one over here. So, uh, the way that I got it to work on mine is I just restarted my device. I power cycled it when it came back on and I said, you know, Apple Assistant, play some music. That time it did pop up with that full list of music choices for me to choose between. So that's really all you have to do. If it doesn't show up right away, try power cycling your device and then you should see the full list of options come up for you to choose from. But it's that simple, that easy to do. Let me know what you guys think. Did you guys change your default music player on your iPhone or iPad? Let me know over on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and what other changes you want Apple to make in iOS 14.5 or future software updates. Are there features that Apple is leaving out that you're waiting for?